What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. A common fear among investors is the possibility of a stock they hold entering a prolonged decline without them being able to react promptly, resulting in substantial losses on their investment. While tools like price alerts can assist in monitoring the risk, opting for a stop loss order provides a passive solution that automatically triggers a sale at a predetermined price point without requiring constant monitoring or active intervention. In this video, we are going to walk you through how to put a stop loss on Charles Schwab. So, let's start. A stop loss order is a risk management tool used by investors to limit potential losses on a stock position. When you place a stock loss order, you specify a price at which you are willing to sell your shares. If the stock price reaches or falls below this predetermined stop loss price, the stop loss order is triggered, converting into a market order. At this point, your broker will attempt to sell your share at the prevailing market price. While the execution of the order is guaranteed, the actual selling price may vary from your stop loss price due to market fluctuations. This mechanism helps protect investors from significant losses in case the stock price experiences a sudden decline. Setting up a stop loss order typically involves accessing your trading platform and selecting the stock you want to apply the stop loss to. You then specify the number of shares you wish to sell and choose the stop order type when prompted. Next, you set the stop loss price, which is the price at which you want your stop loss order to be activated. It's essential to carefully consider this price level based on your risk tolerance and market analysis to ensure it aligns with your investment strategy. A stop loss order and a stop limit order are two common order types used in trading, each with distinct functionalities. A stop loss order instructs your broker to sell specified numbers of shares once the stock price reaches your stop loss price. However, due to market volatility, the actual execution price may differ from the stop loss price. On the other hand, a stop limit order directs your broker to sell at stop price precisely. While this ensures that your shares are sold at your specified price, there is a risk that the order may not be fully executed if the stock price continues to fluctuate beyond the stop price. Understanding the nuances between these order types is crucial for effectively managing your trades and risk exposures. Stop loss orders can be valuable tools for investors looking to protect their investments from sudden market downturns or unexpected price movements. By setting a stop loss price, investors can establish a predefined exit point to limit potential losses without the need for constant monitoring of stock prices. However, it's important to exercise caution when setting stop loss levels as overly tight or poorly placed stop loss orders may result in premature selling during normal market fluctuations. Long-term investors should consider their investment goals and risk tolerance when utilizing stop-loss orders to ensure they align with their overall investment strategy. So there you have it guys. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.